Hello, dear colleagues. I am Bruna Prasson, and I present to you the results of work entitled Microstructure and the Properties of a Hybrid Cobalt Gang Based Alkali Activate Cement. Synthesis of alkali activate cements involve chemical reaction between aluminosilicates and alkaline reaction. Addition of Portland cement is an alternative to accelerate chemical react reaction and to provide hardening at room temperature, therefore forming hybrid cements. In hybrid alkaline reaction, the chemical processes begins with the dissolution of the sources of silicon aluminates and the calcium silicates in alkaline solution. The concentration of monomer silicate species rises upon the solution. This results in a precipitation of an aluminosilicate compound in SGL. At the same time, the calcium, the calcium ketchum and silicate species resulting from the dissolution of Portland cement react to form a CSA gel. As the reaction progress, the calcium ketchum and alumina, aluminate ions present in the aqueous solution begins to diffuse through the cementitious matrix already hardening. Cobalt mining industry in Brazil extracts around 6 million tons per year of cobalt mineral. However, 60% are inputs generated by washing processes. Fine wastes go to neutralization and decantation processes, forming sludge from decantation basin. Cobalt mining wastes contain mainly silicon, aluminum, and iron oxides. The wastes are compounded by quartz, kaolinite, and pyrite. So this is to aim to analyze the effect of Portland cement addition in microstructure and mechanical properties of the hybrid alkaline cement. The cobalt sludge was used as aluminum silicate. It was oven dried and milled. The cobalt sludge was calcinated at 1700 degrees Celsius for one hour and designated as CST. The cobalt sludge non calcinated had a low content of silicon and aluminum oxide, but higher contents of iron and volatile material. <clears throat> After the calcination, the CST presents more than 90% of silicon and aluminum oxides and lower content of volatile material. Alkali activate binders were prepared by premixing the Portland cement and the wastes, then adding the alkaline solution. The alkaline solution was prepared by dissolving sodium hydroxide in sodium silicate. Cylindrical samples were filled and cured at room temperature. Efflorescence appears in CS systems <clears throat> at 28 days, which it was related to presence of free alkaline cations and the lower reactivity of CSC material. Alkali activate motors were prepared for the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy and capillarity water absorption tests. Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy was performed at seven days, 14 days, and 21 days. The spectra were analyzed by ASA software. Capillary water absorption was performed at 28 days. The samples were dried in oven at 50 degrees Celsius for 72 hours before the test. Hardening and compressive strength of alkali activate cements cured at room temperature were influenced by Portland cement addition. There is an increase in compressive strength over the ages. The compressive strength were higher for hybrid cements than for CST0. Reaction kinetic and microstructure formation were accelerated by the addition of calcium sources, which implies strength development and increase of stiffness. Compressive strength of a CS system is 40% lower than CST systems, and it was not influenced by addition of cement portland. The main vibration bands correspond to a symmetric vibration of um, silicates. 
that shifts to lower wave numbers of alkaline reaction. This, uh, this behavior may evidence formation of aluminosilicate amorphous gel. Electro Electrochemical impedance spectroscopy presents a complex graph, which the ABCC axis is related to the real component and the ordinary, ordinary ordinate to imaginary component. Electrical parameters and equivalent electrical circuits were obtained by means of AIA software. Void type circuit and blocking circuit were simulated according to the figure. The capacitive loop increases over the time for all CST mortars and indicates continued microstructure formation. The CST0 were overcurred, so the electrical parameters were higher than for hybrid mortars. The heat current can accelerate the alkaline reaction and reduce the content of a metal ion in the electrolytic solution. The CST hybrid mortars showed different behavior. The CST5 had a blocking circuit at seven days and a capacitive loop formation after 14 days. This behavior may evidence a slow alkaline reaction. The delay appearance of the higher frequency arc is evidence that the capacitive behavior is related to microstructure changes during reaction processes. Therefore, the CST10 presented the formation of capacitive loop at all ages. This behavior may indicate the influence of calcium addition on alkaline reaction. The CS series presents a blocking circuit at all ages, which indicates that the particles were not sufficiently reacted to alkal alkali cations. The intervals of particles may be filled with electrolytic solution, and the capacitive loop was not displayed in the Enquist plot. At early ages of reaction time, the rigidity of the microstructure is too low to detect capacitive behavior due to its geometric effect. The blocking circuit was evidenced in CS5 at seven days and the, the CS in mortars. The time constant increases over the time of reaction for CST series and the more significantly for hybrid mortars. This indicates, indicates an increase in electrical resistance parameter, which reflects the ion movement. The ion movement is reduced by formation of porous matrix, so the higher addition of Portland cement, more early the time constant reach 100 nanoseconds. This may evidence the greater influence of calcium, calcium addition to accelerate the alkaline reaction in coal gang based alkali activate mortar current at room temperature. <clears throat> the mortar sorbitivity are present in the table. The result suggests higher connect power structure for CS10 than to CS0 and CS5. Mechanical strengths of hybrid cements were not influenced by permeability. And the sorbitivity can be related to the electrical parameters. The lower sorbitivity, the higher electrical resistance and the lower capacitance. The thermal cure of CST0 allows acceleration of reaction process and may be related to more tortuous porous network and lower sorbitivity. So, the main conclusions of the work are that replacement of aluminum silicates for Portland cement increase compressive strength and stiffness of hybrid alkali activated binders at seven days. Any quiz plot highlights the continued formation of microstructure and CST systems over time. Calcium content affects the development of microstructure at early ages. This effect is evidenced by any quiz plot. Sorbitivity 
was higher for hybrid mortars than for CST0, which may be related to the formation of different microstructures. Thank you all for your attention.